During normal translation, ribosomes read mRNA in frame from the start codon to the stop codon. But sometimes, the ribosome bypasses the stop codon and continues translation into the poly-A tail of the mRNA. This results in production of polylysine encoding AAA codons. These polybasic peptides interact with the acidic environment of the ribosome's peptide exit tunnel and cause the ribosome to stall. A molecular pathway called the nonstop mRNA decay pathway has evolved to release and recycle these stalled ribosomes. While this rescues the ribosome, it does so at the expense of the mRNA, which is degraded by the exosome complex. A study by Arthur et al. asked what happens if poly-A sequences are inside of the protein coding region of an mRNA. The findings indicated that inserting a poly-A sequence into the mRNA also led to rapid mRNA degradation, and their initial thought was that this was mediated by another mRNA decay pathway called no-go decay. However, when non-poly-A codons encoding other polylysine and polyarginine were employed, the mRNAs were stable, suggesting that no-go decay was not the operative pathway. Instead, they found that poly-A sequences make ribosomes slip back by one base and continue to translate mRNAs in the minus one frame. This minus one frame shift directs ribosomes to premature termination codons, triggering mRNA degradation by another pathway called the nonsense-mediated mRNA decay pathway. This is very similar to examples of programmed minus one ribosomal frame shifting occurring in cellular mRNAs, which also leads to mRNA degradation by nonsense mediated mRNA decay. Thus, it appears that two independent frame shifting mechanisms have evolved to post transcriptionally regulate gene expression through mRNA stability. If minus one PRF regulates gene expression, how is minus one PRF itself regulated? We know that canonical minus one frame shifting can be regulated through interactions between the frame shift stimulating mRNA structures and non-coding mRNAs, but it is not known how poly-A mediated frame shifting is regulated. Perhaps this may occur through interactions between poly-A sequences and poly-A binding proteins. Additional questions address how defects affecting these types of frame shifting may contribute to human disease and how we might capitalize on these discoveries to develop new therapeutic strategies.